Hi, it's been a while. <laughs> it's a long weekend here in Japan and I have a little bit of time so I thought I would just uh, use it to make a new video. So I left Singapore in March and uh, settled down here in Tokyo uh, which makes it a little bit over four months since I left. Uh, and it's long enough that um, I'm starting to think about um, stuff that I miss from Singapore so uh, I would like to talk about it. Uh, I came out with three things. I probably have more but I didn't want to make it too long you know pad out the video with like a top 10 or something like that. You just keep it short and sweet. Three things and the first thing is sheltered walkways. So uh, it's probably because Singapore is a small country and so they can plan it a lot more meticulously but almost everywhere in Singapore is a sheltered walkway that can bring you from like your apartment or house uh, to like a bus stop or a shopping mall anywhere really coffee shops uh, supermarkets if it rains in Singapore you don't have to bring an umbrella because chances are there's enough sheltered walkways you can use that can bring you from point A to point B. It's not 100%. Uh, some places you do still need an umbrella. For, for the most part, I find myself not bringing an umbrella, I guess. <laughs> yeah, and that's one thing I really miss uh, in Singapore that I don't find here in Japan uh, because there's pretty much no shorter walkways here. I don't know if it's just where I'm living in um, but yeah there's no shorter walkways uh, anytime I want to go and get something get food groceries I have to bring my umbrella there isn't really even like a you know buildings where they have like a slight uh, protrusion to shelter you they don't even have that so it's pretty much open air and if it rains it rains so you gotta bring your umbrella and still to be honest still not very used to it <laughs> because I'm so used to just walking under the sheltered walkways and it's one thing that I I guess I miss a little bit <laughs> from Singapore. Uh, the second the second thing that I miss from Singapore is the Tai Fan. So Tai Fan, uh, usually they translate it as economic rice. Uh, I guess because it's pretty cheap, it's pretty e economical. Uh, but I really miss the Tai Fan from Singapore. So what happens is when you go to like a Tai Fan store. Uh, they will give you like a plate of rice and they will have like a whole assortment of uh, dishes that you can choose from to accompany your rice. I guess you can argue uh, in Japan bento serves pretty much the same purpose with their assortment of bento boxes but uh, it's, I would say it's not as flexible because bento like even though there's many kinds where you choose from they are fixed right so you can't say oh I want uh, something from this bento and I want to mix it with uh, something from another bento, you know, that, that, that doesn't really work out. But uh, at a Thai fan store, if you wanted like your, if you wanted your plate of rice, you wanted gravy from this dish, but you wanted the meat from the other dish, uh, you will get it. You'll get a gravy from a separate dish from the meat and stuff like that. You know, possibilities are endless. Uh, yeah, so I'm really missing the Thai fan uh, stores. I'm missing Thai fan in general. <laughs> It's really really convenient too because um, you can just go to the store, uh, get the rice, get a few meat dishes, veggie dishes, uh, I don't know, anything you want and you, you are there for like maybe less than a minute you will get your food and you're gone. <laughs> it's really fast, uh, really convenient. Uh, okay so the last thing I want to talk about for this video is um, I guess transferring and redrawing money. Yeah, so if you don't know, over here in Japan, there's like a time period where you have to withdraw your money if you want to do it for free. So if you wanted to withdraw your money on the weekends or on public holidays, they charge like a small fee. Uh, it's not very big, but it does add up. So it's really annoying because in Singapore, uh, they are mostly free. Uh, I say mostly because I think when you deposit coins, they still like take a service charge or something. But pretty much everything else is free. So I can... <laughs> so I do this thing when I'm Singapore, I do this thing because you know, when you withdraw money from an ATM and you withdraw it in big amounts, the denominations come out in big amounts. So <laughs> it's kind of dumb. But what I do is let's say I wanted to withdraw 
maybe a hundred dollars or so I would go to the ATM machine and I would withdraw in amounts of like 40 <laughs> to get like four ten dollar notes because if I withdrew a fifty dollar note or if I withdraw a hundred dollars uh, they will come uh, the notes that they give out would be a fifth, like a giant fifty dollar note, and uh, I'm more used to keeping ten dollar notes in my wallet. I don't know, it's just me, I guess. But yeah, so I would do my withdrawals in forty dollar increments, and because it's free, I don't really think about it. But now that I'm here in Japan, where if I withdraw on a weekend, it there's an additional charge. Uh, I can't do things like that anymore, and I actually have to think ahead, like when I will use the cash because. Um, in addition to like the charges for ATM withdrawals and transfers, Japan is still very cash based. Uh, it's not as bad as it used to be, but for the most part, it's still very cash based. So I, <laughs> I have to think ahead uh, when I will use cash and make the necessary withdrawals before like long weekends such as this one. Yeah, <laughs> kind of silly, but that's how it is over here. But yeah, those are. Um, three of the things I miss from Singapore right now. Uh, I know I'm always rambling for videos like this, it's like all over the place, but <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying. I wrote points and stuff this time, so I, I hope it's a little bit more organized, uh, but if not, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks for listening to me like ramble on and on, and uh, see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye.